All right, guys, this is the Mindset Podcast. I am your host, Stephen Salmon, and my co-host, Mr. Greg McCoy. And today, we're going to talk about those days when you don't want to get out of bed. And that alarm clock hits. It's 4.30 in the morning. Some of you guys wake up early on that. You're fucking crazy. That's the Uh, night. That's not the morning. Jesus Christ. (laughs) It's early. It's black outside, and you're hitting your snooze button. And I'm going to tell you a story real quick of how I found motivation to get through, get to let my feet hit the ground and get the fuck moving, right? There's a guy that works here. His name's Rex. Rex has got three kids. They're all under the age of four. And, uh, and so he's always going. And that dude is up at 3.30 in the morning and goes to his first workout, showers, then drives to work. He's the first one here every day. And I asked, I asked Rex, I said, man, how do you do it? Like, how do you wake up and just get going? Like, do you hit that snooze button for an hour? Like, is it 4.30 when you get up or are you up at 3.30? And he's, uh, he's like, man, I fucking wake up and my feet hit the ground. And, uh, and I said, well, how do you do it? And he says, well, man, whenever I wake up, I just think about that guy that's already at the gym outworking me. Or that guy that's already at the office or making sales calls or doing the next thing that I need to be doing that's already winning and I can't let him beat me. And I started thinking more about this. And I was like, that's a really good fucking mindset. Mm-hmm. That's a good mindset to have is to be thinking about you're already about to get beat if you don't get to work. So your feet better hit the ground. You better start moving. And I started doing more research on this and kind of going more into it and reading about this and searching for stuff like this to figure out like how people get motivated to get moving just first in the morning. And I came across this guy, I forget his name, and he said, he goes, man, because people ask me, they're like, how do I get moving so quick in the morning? He goes, well, if you were going to meet the people that I was going to meet, you'd be moving too. If you're going to have the day that I was about to have, you'd be moving too. And I was like, I was fucking fired up. <laughs> I was like, I fucking had goosebumps. Yeah. And uh, I fucking love that shit, man. Because that for me, like, I'm not a morning person. Mm-hmm. There's phases where I get, where I go through it, but I... I like to stay up till 11 or 12, you know, I, I mean, I definitely can fall asleep at nine or 10, but like, I like to sit there and just decompress for a while. Sure. You know, so early, like early mornings are not my thing, you know, but I know like you're, you're an early bird. Yeah. I like, I like, I got a seven hour system. Yeah. Whatever time I go to bed after 10, I wake up the same time after five. So 1030 to 530, yep. 10 to five, 11 to six. Seven hour system. Yeah. Maybe I need a fucking It's like a system. sliding schedule. Yeah. I don't like too rigid. It's yeah. like it. I feel like I've imprisoned myself. Sure. So I like some flexibility, but it's yeah. still like it's got a strategy. So when you when that alarm hits, like, are you boots on the ground? You're running out the door, like. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. I I think that's um it's a great motivator. My, Michael Jordan was big on that. Mm. He was like you know spending hours in the gym because he just he was always afraid that someone was going to outwork him. He wanted to shoot more shots than anybody. Yeah. Um, and that's what drove them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's a, a great way to think, um, you know, and then the, I think the hard part too, is once you, once you start to have a little bit of success is how to stay that hungry. Um, not get comfortable well, at that point. It's about staying ahead. Mm-hmm. You don't want, if you've created a gap, you don't want to let Please people catch up. Fuck right. That, yeah. yeah. I know it helps me to fixate on, um, a, co- a competitor that I, that I can put a face to. Mm-hmm. If that's a bodybuilding competition, you know, that's a person. Mm-hmm. If it's business, that's the other CEO or, mm-hmm. or whoever I'm up against is like, you know, what are they doing? What would what would scare me if I knew they were doing this? I'm going to fucking do that. Mm-hmm. If I knew they were getting up and doing this or working with this coach or um, what, what moves, if I heard they were making, I'd be like, I'd be worried. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stay ahead of it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, a friend of mine, he owned this big company and there was a, a CEO of another company and I was mutual friends of both of them. And I remember, I remember asking him about when that guy, re- cause that guy retired from that other competing company and went to basically a customer of his. Mm. And I asked him about that. I was like, you know, how was that? Was that weird working with him? And he was like, dude, it was the day he retired was like the biggest, biggest like exhale of oxygen for me. He's like, cause I could finally, he's like, I feel like I could finally relax. Yeah. <laughs> cause that guy was chomping on my ass yeah. every fucking day. Yeah. That was his fuel. Yeah. To get moving every single day. 
And that that's good fire right there. Yeah, and not sometimes you have to be thankful for your competition yeah. in that way because I know in in my situation I've got a a direct competitor and it's very personal for mm -hmm. me. And if I didn't have such a strong urge to stomp them out, like I would probably be at a slower pace. Yeah. And so in that way, I'm thankful. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, we're going head to head on uh, competing gyms. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, every minute you spend working on something else, mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking pass you at the speed of light. Mm -hmm. And that's, that fires me up, dude. And I'll wake up and fire for that. Well, that guy sucks anyways. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, that's all fuel for the fire. Yeah. So, so it's, you know, just think about that person. If you don't have somebody, if you can't put that face in mind, mm -hmm. just, you know, it can be a, it can be a faceless, you know, entity that's mm -hmm. out there because it's a big world, man. And there's a lot of motivated people and heavy hitters. That's a good point is that you don't always know your competition no. until they've passed you. Yep. Sometimes they're coming so fast and you don't even know about them. They're not on your fucking radar until they've already acquired your customer. They've gotten that raise. They've gotten that job that you were after, they've gotten that customer you were looking for. I mean, dude, that's so true. I think we, you've, we've all been there in, in business or mm. athletics mm. where you, you don't take someone serious that's on the come up. Yep. And, you know, oh, I don't need to worry about them. Like, they, ain't got, they don't have much going on or whatever. And they're, they're doing those early <clears throat> mornings, and you might not realize it, but after dude. a while, they're, they're a player. Um, and so you got to give everybody respect. I think that's like, I've seen, I've definitely seen arrogance bite people in the ass yeah. because they weren't taking, and I've been that person yeah. where I wasn't taken serious and they didn't know what I had, what I was mm -hmm. doing in the morning hours, you know? And, uh, you know, you start to pass those people up and it's fun because it's fun to be underestimated. There's, if there's, there's never been a truer statement than don't underestimate anybody. Yeah. So. I remember whenever we just started first started growing and really becoming the company that we were. I remember one time I was at an event and there was a guy that I thought was my friend and he told me, he was like, man, look, he goes, he goes, we're all so proud of you. He goes, we thought, he goes, whenever you first got man sports, we were all taking bets of how fast you'd lose, of how fast you'd fail. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was just, I thought these guys were my fucking friends. Yeah. But everybody will fucking underestimate you, man. Mm -hmm. And if you get to fucking work in the morning and you put on your fucking boots day in and day out while they're underestimating, you're going to fucking pass them so fast. Yeah. Most of those guys aren't even in this industry anymore. You know, they were legacy guys that when the industry kept changing, they got phased out. You know, we're still trucking. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. You got to show up and punch the clock, and every day is not going to be the most, uh, the best day of your life. Mm -hmm. You won't have your best workout every day. You're not going to crush records every day in business. Mm -hmm. uh, but you got to punch the clock and uh, be consistent. You know, if that's if uh, if we're talking about getting up early, yeah. You know, do that consistent and and evaluate over time. Like, yeah. okay, if I if I got if I spend one hour a day extra on my. Uh, on myself, on my fitness, on my business. What is that in six months? What is that, you know, 180 days, 180 hours? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can accomplish a lot in 180 hours. So this, this kind of goes, in the, this might even be a next podcast thing, but we're going to roll into this one is, all right, say you're the guy that's, you know, you're, you've created the gap, but now you've lost momentum. And I've had this question come across quite a bit to me where they go, well, man, like, how do you stay motivated? And the truth is that you can't always be motivated. You have to you have to ride the waves. And so whenever you – and that's – like if you're self-employed or you work for yourself or I think in any job really, like there's times where you feel it and you're, you're chomping at the bit and you're getting after it. And there's other days where you just don't want to fucking be there. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between being disciplined and not being disciplined. Yeah. And actually being disciplined just to show up and go through the steps and create your power list, knock out your things you need to do. And then whenever that momentum starts to come back and you feel that energy and you are excited to be back at the office, be back on your A game, you ride that and you squeeze as hard as you can because there's be times that you don't. Yeah. And you need to squeeze that juice as hard as you can because it comes in waves. Yeah, I think we I think we may have started with that in one of the previous episodes. Yeah. But, you know, discipline beats motivation. That's yep. 
that's the slogan. You're not always going to, you won't want to do it every day. Yep. It's the people that do it on the days they don't want to yep. that get there. Because if, if you only, if you're only going hard on the days you feel like mm-hmm. it, that might be what, 60% of the time, Yep. you know, and you're, you're just going to not do it the other yep. 40%. Yep. Well, that definitely, you're going to get a gap. Like, mm-hmm. cause I know I'll show up on the other 40% of the day. So if you're not, I mean, I'm gonna be winning. Yeah, I'll be in the background. Even if it's not my best day. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm, I'm there. S- I'm still gonna beat yours. Yeah, you, I'm bringing a hundred percent of my sixty percent that yep. day. You know. Yep. So yeah, this is a lot, a lot of good stuff in that one. But I think the the mindset of there's somebody out there that's doing the things that I won't do mm-hmm. uh, is a great way to kick yourself in the ass and do it. Or um, I could get ahead. Mm-hmm. That person's not doing it. Uh, why why they're snoozing i'm gonna go ahead and knock these things out there's a lot of satisfaction in that so yep. whichever way you flip that that mm-hmm. mindset is very powerful i love it all right guys chew on that if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments below until next week guys thank you <laughs> <laughs>